So this one's following up with our SNES topic from last last week. Last I was only last year. It feels like, <laughs> it's like I know forever. it feels like it's been forever. But um, so the Super Nintendo or SNES Mini Classic, if you will, the pre-orders are actually getting canceled. Well, the duplicate pre-orders are getting canceled. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's not op- the pre-orders aren't open in America yet, but in Europe. They, they, a lot of them got canceled because people ordered two or more. Yeah, the, the, which is fair. Which is yeah. fair. I mean, yeah. at, at, for demand that this they, thing They've is learned getting, their lesson from the NES. Yeah. You hope so. Yeah, for so they, they want to make sure there's enough to go around for everybody. So, which, so order from two different places. Which is great. Or three. <laughs> or three. Or three. Which I plan. Yeah. <laughs> doing. I plan two. But it's, three to help anyone else out. So I'm pretty I sure... I will not scalp it. Though. I will not make it $300. <laughs> I will. He's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, for what the, they're not like canceling completely. Like if you order three, they're not making it zero. They're making it one. Yeah. So you'll get one. But uh, so what in America when it does go up, I would say just be safe. Buy one. Oh, uh, on each on each. Yeah, 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 yeah. So don't buy like each two at Italy. Amazon, two at Walmart, just in case because they have canceled everything sometimes when they've done that. They made a mistake. Yeah. Where, which would suck so That's bad. That's happened before. I mean, even with what your Amazon was. My Zelda your Switch. My Zelda Switch. Yep. When they, when they have when they have issues with stock, with stock they yeah, accidentally they just cut cancel it, which could happen out. honestly. Yeah. So yeah. it's not a bad idea. But I mean, actually. from what I'm hearing, like it wasn't just some people were ordering two. Like some people were ordering like ten. Yeah, they were they trying would, they, to they order like as many as they could. And yeah. obviously, when just it's just a scalp. pre-order, they don't have like a stock in mind. Yeah. So it's like whoa, whoa, whoa! Pump your brakes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> calm, calm the hell down. And like you said, you know, and this is only in UK again, just to, yeah, yeah, just Europe. to throw that out there, because as of today, July fourth, there's been no announcement for America pre-orders. They just yeah. have the uh, pages set up for uh, numerous notifications. Notifications. So, so right so. now, it's Amazon, Walmart, Best Buy, and you guys said B and H. B and H was just announced today. And what is B and H for people that don't know? Because I didn't know what B and H was until you guys yeah. told me. Video to be and. Uh, photo store it's in new york city and they're pretty much what they're doing is that they're, they're allowing you to pretty much link your email or, or set up your email with a notification when they actually go live for pre-order yeah um so that's gonna be the best way to first find out if you don't see it on a news um a news site before that just seeing pretty much that hey this item is going to be on sale for the the super nes classic yeah. um so like for me i know john's done it, i'm sure jonah's done it too like i've already gone to amazon I've already gone to Walmart. I've already gone to Best Buy. Um, I guess I'll go to B and H. But um, that's actually the uh, commercial slogan. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Weird. <laughs> go to B and H. <laughs> if our not active Patreon account yes. gets money, we'll know why. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, so I already went to to each one of those websites and just went to the product page, made sure I clicked the notify me when it becomes available. Yeah. I recommend anybody that's interested to do that as well, go to whatever retailers they can. I'm assuming Target might do it eventually. Um, we still haven't seen anything from GameStop either. Yeah, no page is up. Uh, my other recommendation too is, is pretty much to make sure that on each of those sites, if you have an account with them, create or set up a pretty much like a one-click uh, purchase mm-hmm. Uh with like a credit card or something like that. Cause what you don't want to do is pretty much put it into your, your, your cart. And then as you're filling out your address and your yep. email it and, and your location, it's already been sold on you. And that's when you happens. Have to check out. Yep. So what, that's my recommendation. Like my Amazon is already set up with a one click purchase option. Best Buy is already set up with a one click purchase option. I got to go back and I, I got to see if you even have a Walmart account, but, um, you want to just be able to click it and go and, and co- confirm your purchase and be done with it. Because if you get hung up with entering in all your information, That's very, it. very... <laughs> Game over, very, man. Big Game chance, over. Big chance that it's going to be sold on you by the time that you get to check out. Yeah, and uh, another tip, too. Um, follow the hashtag SNES Classic I'm gonna do that on now. Twitter. I'm always refreshing that because what happened with the SNES... Or not the SNES, the NES Mini is Best Buy was throwing out tweets when they were going to get them in. Mm-hmm. But I had, I you know, I wasn't following it at the time, and I had no idea when they were getting them in. Walmart, same thing. Like, they'll be like, hey, guys, check out or uh, stay tuned for our store. And they'll let you know, be like, online or in-store. SNS Classic or SNS Classic Mini? No, nope, SNS Classic. I would do that you one. Got the wrong one. It's and, Mini. Let's make it sure. <laughs> and, and, I mean, you could do the Mini, too, I'm sure, but a lot of people have been doing the SNS Classic as a hashtag. Wait, you can follow it? And always go to... Well, you stick to latest. Oh, okay. Like, I always have it on the latest tab. That way you know exactly what's going on. There's um, 
Actually, for the UK, it's great because they do have pre-orders and local stores are getting pre-orders. So they have the store owners themselves telling people, hey, we have this many in stock. Come on by. Also, mm-hmm. you know, follow Cartridge Blast on Twitter because we'll tweet it out as soon as it goes up. That's true. <laughs> That's very true. And you better be the one to do it now I'm because it, but it <laughs> be. I'm going to be too busy pre-ordering mine. <laughs> <laughs> and ordering, so. Um, but yeah, so I, I, the other the other note I have here, just as a recommendation or anybody's going to try and get this thing, <laughs> if you have friends in Best Buy, Walmart, you lost me at friends. GameStop, <laughs> <laughs> anybody that you know, you're, you're friendly with, um, make sure that you know you, you find out what's going on with them if there is going to be stock how much stock there's going to be if you don't have any friends in a uh, gaming retailer or, or one of these places that are going to be selling make them. it make friends now yeah get that relationship going <laughs> maybe once a week pop your head in you know what i mean like bring up some small talk maybe some make a hours. purchase and say you missed the pre-orders uh, you miss they go them. out here's uh, another tip that was really helpful with the nest classic was go to google and just type in stock find out uh, they'll give you the uh, UPC number for the actual item, and then you can check. There'll be sites out there. I think there's one like i for you or something like can that. You put and, it in the show iStock.com. Can you put it in the YouTube notes? I'll have to. I'll, yeah, I'll have to look it up. Do some research. I don't know. Nothing's up now, so I can't really give out a, mm-hmm. a, a thing because what it's going to do is it's going to be specific for the UPC gotcha. uh, for the item, but. Um, don't get discouraged if you miss the pre-orders because if you do that, they'll tell you what local stores have them in stock, yeah. and uh, that that always updates all the time. It was pretty accurate. The only thing um, negative, some stores lingered with it. Like, well, the problem is some people weren't using the scan guns. Like I said, we had an yeah, issue. Had, I was telling some issues where some, here. like you said, employees, but yeah. employees were holding them for people, so they weren't being honest. With that's why you should be friends with them. <laughs> Don't be friends with the enemy, except this time so you can get one. You know what? Don't they, scalp John, or, that John, back later. You know You're what up they for say? Ass whooping. You know what they say, right? You keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. This enemy could get you SNES Classic. All right. I just don't want you to scalp it because that's just rude. Yeah, well, I mean, they're gonna scalp it either way. That's true. Feed your family. You're not gonna change <laughs> anybody's mental state by this, John. You gotta that's... look out for number one. <laughs> all right. Uno. You gotta make sure you gotta do what you gotta do. All those people, and if you happen to get a second one, you hit me. You hit up your boy Carmine. <laughs> All right. And if you get a third one, Carmine hits up his boy John. And if you get a fourth one, which won't happen, then you talk to Jonah. Sorry, Jonah. <laughs> I get I get the one that's not happening. Don't worry, Jonah. We'll get you one between me and John. We'll get you one. Yeah, I'm willing to import. <laughs> um, the one final thing I will say too, um, what will usually happen with something like this is the first wave isn't going to be the end wave. I don't think this time. I'm hoping not. Um, no, I, they, they did say they're going to do significantly more. I mean, it's listen. I don't know if all retailers, if everyone's on board with giving one per customer, yeah, then you're then we're in better shape. I mean, However, yeah. I don't know. Once it hits the streets, I can't. Obviously, no one's going to find. You know, some people know who where the warehouses are, and yeah. some people have a lot of cash to hand out. So we don't know what's going to happen with that. But. What I will say that with this, and I, I'm just kind of just based on my past experience. If for some reason that you can't get an SNES Classic for like the original price or, or whatever the case may be, my recommendation is uh, don't feed the scalpers. At least don't feed like in, in that sense. Like don't spend three hundred dollars for something that's eighty. Yeah. Um, my recommendation is is that like uh, unfortunately this is the way that they do it with GameStop, but like at least with the GameStop bundles, you're probably not spending three hundred dollars. And yes, you're gonna have like a probably like an SNES Classic bundle that's gonna throw in like the stupid sh- stuff that we were talking about with like the the Mario socks or whatever the case may be. Like yeah, like yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> toothpicks. Like they're Pencils. probably gonna throw in a lot of that nonsense. It's probably still gonna end up being cheaper um, than what like the scoppers might be selling. And at least this point, if you're gonna spend that kind of money, you're at least getting something else with it. Yeah, even if it's like a stocking stuffer or something like that for a friend or family member. Um, that would be my recommendation. It was the same thing like when I got my Switch, when my, when my buddies got me a Switch. It was a, one of those bundles that you bought online, at least. But, I mean, I got, like, I got a couple games. I got a few digital games. I got, um, I think, Mario Kart with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mario Kart. And then, uh, like, the little steering wheel accessories for the Joy-Cons. So it wasn't necessarily something that I wanted or needed. Um, it was all a nice addition, but at least I was pay- they were paying for something that gave me more yeah. stuff to utilize and I could actually show for it. Mm-hmm. It wasn't something where, hey, you're going to get this one item that I buy- bought for 80 bucks. I'm going to charge you 
ten yeah. times what it's worth or whatever the case may be to um, pretty much not give you anything extra. So yeah. that would be my recommendation. Just don't feed the scalpers. And yes, GameStop is not yeah. a very popular retailer in that sense. And but at least they're going to give you extra merchandise. Whether or not you need it is the question. Mm-hmm. But I, I just, for me, I feel better knowing that I'm paying for something extra and I'm getting some sort of value yeah. out of it. And if you know somebody in GameStop, you can go back and try and return it and maybe get a gift card for all that other junk that you don't need. There you go. But you need to know somebody. That's, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna say. there's your hint. I'm all right, you know people, right? I do. You can hook me up if I need that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Sorry. I'm still trying to get rid of those Joy-Con controllers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Because a lot of times, like, if you get, like, a cool, like, uh, GameStop manager or GameStop employee, they, they know what's up. Like, they know that you don't want to buy everything else with it, and they know what GameStop does. And I'm probably, like, ran some people out. That's why I'm not going to mention names. Um, just but, one. <laughs> but, like, they will be at least cool enough. If they're going to if they're gonna keep your business in the store, they'll return some stuff for you and put it on a gift card, and you can come back and make a purchase later on. Yeah. So it, it's, it's something where you won't be completely... Out of all your money, in a sense, you'll still get like the credit back that you can come back in and spend it at GameStop. Mm-hmm. But at least you're not getting all that junk that you don't need. That's yeah. probably going to get thrown out at the end of the and day. And a big thing to know, if you don't too, want to I mean, it's, it's, listen, I'm not going to lie. This is going to be very in demand, but don't panic if you miss the first shipments or few shipments because. Like like Carmen said, don't jump to eBay right away because that's just, only going to fuel everything. It just everything. helps the, like, it hurts. It helps the scalping situation yeah. and hurts everything else that you're trying to pretty much get. Like, it's going to be that hot holiday item. If you have the extra money that you're just going to throw away on something that's mm-hmm. a lot cheaper or a lot more expensive than it should be, that's 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 on you. Yeah. But, like I said, look at what we just said. You know, look at the uh, the stock stuff. Uh, check the um, the Twitter feed. You know, always look at that stuff. That'll update you on what's going on. And just, just, just I guess you know, just yeah. Be uh, be aware, you know, if, if you know your your local Best Buy is going to have them, don't be like, oh, I'm going to show up at 8 o'clock in the morning. No. Show up at 4. Show up at 4. <laughs> yep. 3 o'clock, because my mistake was, I was a, like literally like a second off for it. Um, I was going to go an hour earlier, but I was like, no, it's, actually I was going to go that night. Like I found I was going to be there yeah. the next day. I was going to go up that night and just sit there, but I was like, eh, I'll try to get some sleep. You know, I was like, 3 o'clock should be early enough. It wasn't early enough. I, I just missed it. Um, it could have been early enough, but, you know, just... If you think it's too early, it's probably not too early. <laughs> if you think it's too early, go earlier. Go early. And, um, you know, and and do the world a favor. Get one, and if you want another one, just try again another day. Go to another retailer. Yeah, because there's, there's probably someone behind you that was that, you know... It's the one thing that they wanted. That's the one thing they wanted. It's trying to entertain and... three kids, and you took that for him. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like our uh, our buddy uh, our buddy Dan wanted it too, and Shelly, his girlfriend, was asking me like, "Do I know anybody that yeah. can actually get it?" And uh, at the time, like, there wasn't anybody. Like, I mean, a lot of the people that I, I worked with at GameStop for a while, they just weren't. They left mm-hmm. the company. Um, so it's like one of those things, like for somebody like him, like that's like one thing that he probably wanted for Christmas and now he can't have it. Yeah. Unless you're going to spend 300 something bucks for it. Yeah. And, and even it's... with, even with you, like with your wife, she had a probably I don't know how much she spent on it, but we can assume I... that it was more than what it was worth. Yeah. Well, yeah. In a sense. Worth a lot uh... to you, worth every penny to you, <laughs> yeah. John. But no, it, it unfortunately but, yeah. it was already discontinued and there was nothing to do. But yeah. from what I understand, she had a bunch of friends helping. So she did not spend $300 on it. She spent, more than what it was retail, but, no, but nothing crazy. ridiculous. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, you don't want to have to get, you know, uh, just just be aware. Like my in, my thought with the NES Classic was because Nintendo wasn't upfront with everything. Yeah, like they weren't like, oh, this is a limited quantity; it's not coming out for me. I didn't jump on this till it was almost too late because I was like, oh, I'm just waiting for it to show up in stores because I've heard stories where people walked in. And just happened to be shopping, there. doing yeah. their own thing, and like, oh, hey, my son would like that, and just picked it up like nonchalant. I was like, oh, I'll just wait till they have more and walk in. No, because out of nowhere, it's like, oh, sorry, we're not making more. Yep. So at least this that time, was my that was my yeah. Thing too. I like, think a lot of people thought that. I figured eventually it would just be on the <laughs> shelf, and you would just be able. to Yeah, because I was looking for one day one as soon as it came out, yeah. but it was just one of those things I could never find one in store. But I was never jumping online at four in the morning because a it was during a work week but um also you know i was like oh I'll just you know it's, it's not that important because i know they're going to come in the store yeah. but they never did but at least this time we know for a fact even though nintendo's not saying anything 
just be prepared for it to discontinue after this holiday season. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. The day of the release, we're going to have three, four, four, Chris gets it, SNA's classes uh, right here. If we can. The day of release. The day of release. All right, man. <laughs> it's a Tuesday, right? 29. That is absolutely awesome. Actually, let me find out. <laughs> I hope that happens. He's going to call on a sick day that day. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I should. we're gonna do the podcast with four SNS classes. Twenty <laughs> ninth, it's a Friday. It's right. It's coming out the twenty ninth. Yep, oh, September okay, it's 29th. Friday, September twenty ninth. So day. Next if Tuesday. you got PTO, you got sick time. Be prepared. Use it. But uh, and hopefully retailers aren't getting like ten and yeah. like because I'm pretty sure that night the buildings are gonna be like wrapped around with people. Well, so. well that's the thing. Like the, this, the same like last year with the NES Classic, like that. Even though. For a lot of gamers, like a lot of hardcore gamers, they wanted this. But at the end of the day, even with all the like the, the general media, the, the general news, like the 5, 5 p.m., uh, 10 p.m. news, we're talking about holiday gifts. Yeah. And it was very mainstream. So everybody found out about it. Everybody that wasn't really into gaming, a lot of people that kind of fell off from gaming, gaming wanted this item. And it's going to be the same exact thing. And it's going to be on a yeah. bigger stage than mm-hmm. it would just like scrolling through IGN and being yeah. like, hey, it's out now. And people didn't realize how big it was, like you're saying, because yeah. I had people trying to get it for me for Christmas. Yeah. But they were showing up online at 8 o'clock in the morning. Mm. And people like already there was like 50. It was already sold out. Yeah. Because that's just what it was. Like you, you walked in and, oh, hey, sorry. Nope. It's, it's already sold out. Yeah. It's like, but I'm fifth in line. Yeah, no, it's sold out. It's like, how? How does that happen? It just does. But, so, I mean, guys, those are the tips we have for trying to get an SNES Classic. Um, hopefully, everything runs a little smoother, smoother yeah. this time. You know, have them, hopefully they're printing out more. Hopefully they're keeping an eye out on everything. I mean... Deep down, I don't think Nintendo really gives a crap. They're kind of just like, eh. I mean, again, they want that. They want that stage. Like they want to be like, oh, this is the hottest item for the holidays. Yeah, and they 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 need they, they that helps with shareholders and everything else, um, stock prices, driving up stock prices, mm-hmm. all that stuff. And this is why I think that this is going to be a key component for Nintendo going forward. Um, for the foreseeable future, trying to get these kind of old school retro consoles out there, getting the buzz out there, becoming the hot holiday item, it's just going to help their business yeah. on top of whatever else they're doing with the Nintendo Switch yeah. right now. So, but guys, if you have any other tips that we didn't cover, let us know down in the comments um, or keep them to yourself. Any websites? You don't want anyone else to get them. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Like, like at the end <laughs> of the day, we're all gamers here. We're all trying to get one. Yeah. I love collecting them, so I just want two. Like, that's all I need. If I get a third one, I promise. I'll either give it to someone that I know that didn't get one, or if it does, if I do have to sell it on, I promise everyone it's not going above the retail price because that's just ridiculous. Maybe ten dollars more. <laughs> All right, hundred shipping. <laughs> shipping. Maybe you, twenty dollars. You more. pay shipping. We're 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 uh, ball game. Ball game. Ball game. Ball game. Ball. Ball game. game ball. We're game pro. Ball, ball we're pro. Game. We're pro ball. We're touch goal sports. But so guys. Touch goal. <laughs> Like I said, if you have any comments, <laughs> let us know. Any other tips, let us know down in the comments.